Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Money Mail present your goals, dreams and plans. Uh, Shweta, the regulator, you know, has brought in a direct plan concept. And then, of course, there's a regular plan. So people are confused. Should I be in a regular plan? Should I go the direct route? Uh, can you explain that to our viewers, how the two work and what is the difference in the two? Okay, so direct is uh, for somebody who would know what they want and who have the time to research uh, the various schemes, uh, what is happening in the world, how it's impacting. So direct is for people who have three things, who have the time, who have the expertise and who have the control over their emotions. Mm. Most of us are not uh, with that privilege. We either don't have the time or we don't have the expertise or we don't have either of them, right? Uh, so direct is like a pharmacy where you know what you want and you go and pick that up. There's nobody to give you warnings. There's nobody to tell you how much you should have. So as a direct investor, for example, I could invest 100% of my investments in one scheme or one fund house or one category and nobody will ask me anything. Uh, but if I have an advisor, uh, I could be investing it through a regular mutual fund where the advisor is going to highlight the risks, highlight the warnings. Uh, it's like your doctor then saying, okay, with an antibiotic, please take an antacid because you might experience uh, uh, a sensitive stomach, for example. So as an advisor, you could get an advice saying, because you're investing in equities, um, why don't you keep some money in liquid mutual funds as well or in overnight funds or in ultra short funds in case you need that money or because you have three year goal, don't invest in equities, invest in debt yeah. because volatility will be higher or even as simple as even if you're investing only in equities uh, saying this fund has higher risk. This one is lower. This one is more focused and more concentrated. This one is more diversified. So don't just go by past track record see what the fund has and then invest. Mm. So uh, in a direct mutual fund, it's all up to you. You're owning the risk, no doubt, but uh, there's nobody to give you these warnings. There's nobody to guide you through the entire process. But don't you uh, believe that if I were to go the direct route with an advisor, uh, so I get the advisory as well as I save on commissions, so I pass on part of the, my saving to an advisor, as a fee, do you believe that's the right way to go about it? it or that's be. what the regulator envisaged? Uh, it could be um, that if you're going direct and you can pay for advice, absolutely, that's a fantastic model as well. Uh, and as much as I would love it, uh, people are not happy to pay fees uh, when it comes to paying out of pocket. Uh, people are still happier that it's going from the fund and not that they have to write a check to an advisor because the minute uh, it comes to writing that check it becomes much more painful for mm. the uh, investor and that is one of the reasons where this is sort of i think people are going the direct route but not taking advice so which is actually a little more dangerous than even the regular one because a lot of uh, places you see advertising okay invest directly and save on all of that commissions uh, which is basically saying you don't don't pay for advice come to our, our website or wherever and invest directly who's going to advise you uh, and the cost of bad advice could be really really high so you could be you could end up being penny wise pound foolish mm. always a pleasure talking to you thank you very much Shweta, for coming thank us. you for having me here mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully